Hello, Geminis. This is your X rating for the 7 through the 13. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Mm. I think a lot of you are wanting to um, move on, actually. Go towards you know something that you are excited about after feeling very hurt by um, the situation. Feeling very bogged down, burdened by it. Okay. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Uh, feeling confident that um, you have control of your life right now. Okay. You are the only one that controls, you know, how your life goes, what's going to happen. Okay. Nobody else. Nobody else is in the driver's seat but you. Let's see what's going on with your ex. Hmm. <laughs> I just saw the four of cups there. They're not happy, I feel. Um, this person is at a, at a crossroads. Uh, Aries energy there. But they're, they're at a crossroads and they're really trying to decide, you know, their next steps. You know, what they're doing next, I feel. Um, I think they have their eye on something here because if you look at this card, you know, this person has a bird's eye view. They know exactly, you know, what it is that they want. And if you take too long to decide, then you know what? Your choices are limited, okay? And I feel like that's what's going on with them currently. Let's see how you perceive them. Maybe you perceive them as like, you know, they're dating someone. They're going out. They're having fun. They're happy um, for a lot of you that they have started over with someone. They're dating, okay? Let's see how you perceive them is they're not doing anything. Okay, maybe you feel like, you know, they're stuck at a point in their life where they're not making very much headway. Maybe you feel like they need to be enlightened. Um, maybe you just feel like they're just not making any moves towards you, like they're not doing anything anymore where you are concerned. Okay, let's see how they perceive you. How does Gemini's ex perceive them? Gemini's X worrying, thinking way too much, being indecisive, not seeing the truth, um, having a decision to make. They don't really think you guys are decisive. They they think you're in two minds, and then you know that's typical Gemini, um, you know, being in two minds kind of thing. But um, they feel like you guys have, you know, you the decision is on you. Like, there's nothing that they need to do. Okay? They're deciding their, their next steps. But it's up to you to decide, you know, where this is actually going. Or they feel like you have decided because the swords are up. They're not crossed. Um, yeah, they just feel like you guys go back and forth, I feel. Like, you're very indecisive. You can feel one way one day and... You know, feel something totally different the next day, okay? I feel strongly you guys are dealing with an Aries or Pisces individual for a lot of you. Um, maybe Libra. Let's see what your feelings are about getting back together. Hmm. Maybe some of you guys have blocked um, this person or they have you blocked. You're not really sure right now. You're kind of confused weighing your options. Um, and I feel like, you know, you don't know if this person is actually willing to get back either. That's what I'm getting here. There's a lot that you guys don't know because this person's not doing anything. Um, but I think you're definitely thinking about this person. They are one of your options that, um, that you're considering, I feel like, right now. Okay, and here's the Five of Pentacles again, you know, feeling hurt um, about a situation where you guys were together. Here, there's two people here, and one of you, or if not both of you, felt very hurt, left out here. Okay, and, and I'm getting that, you know, it's probably the Aries or the Pisces, your person, your ex, that feels like... Um, you know, they offered something to you before they were interested in getting back together before even, and, um, you, you kicked against it. You decided against it and they felt left out. They felt left out. Okay. Yeah. Very hurt. Very rejected. Okay. Is how they felt. And I think, you know, now you guys are kind of feeling, 
uh, you're just not sure if I think a decision that you've made um, was the right decision is what I'm getting here. And then we see justice under here. Doing what's right, okay? Doing what's right. Doing what you feel is right for all parties. Let's see how they feel about getting back together. How does Gemini's ex feel about getting back together? They definitely feel like you guys are soulmates. And I think they would be up for reuniting. Um, but again, I think that um, it may be on you. You guys have a magician here. You are the manifester. It's in your hands is what I'm getting, okay? Let's see how they feel about getting back together. And then justice comes up again. Mm -hmm. Um... I think this person just wants to do what's right, logically what's right here. And they have all these cards of like having a decision, um, weighing two options here now. Hmm. So what I'm getting from, from Justice being here is that it's, it's basically up to you. It's up to you. It's up to you. Ultimately, I feel like, you know, it's up to you to make an offer. It's up to you to get it started, to initiate it here with the, the magician. But um, at the end of the day, they're going to have to be the ones that decide if this is the right decision, if this is something that um, is a right choice, whatever, it, whatever that is, you know, if there's something that they feel like... Um, you guys did that is unforgivable then they may choose you know not to you know it just depends on what your your own situations are okay but i think you know the decision is up to them whether or not you guys get back together but i feel like it's up to you guys um to initiate here okay so let's see how you can help this connection how can you help this connection how can gemini help this connection here Gemini. Hmm. I think this this is for you guys to be receptive um, to the emotions, to be more emotional, um, and, and to display that. I feel. Okay, because I don't think there has been a lot that's been shown in this connection. Not a not a lot of emotions displayed. Um, Maybe, maybe not be so aloof is what I'm getting from this. To show this person that you really do care, you really do love them, if that is how you feel, you know. Let's see how they can increase the chances. How can Gemini's X increase the chances? Three of Pentacles. Hmm. Deciding to compromise. Um, working with you. But I, but I get that, you know... This person's, you know, they're on a path right now, I do feel. Um, and they're working with other people. And I mean, like, you know, as far as, like, um, not in an intimate relationship, but um, there's something that they're building upon. They're spending their time um, helping people is what I'm getting here. Okay. And, and maybe, maybe this person needs some counseling. I mean... Only you guys know your situations, but that is quite possible. But, you know, if you guys are coming with a loving offer and you're extending that to this person, then I feel like this means that, you know, they really need to hear you out, you know, work with you, compromise on some things and, you know, things of that nature, okay? Let's see. What is the possible outcome for my Geminis and their ex? What is the possible outcome here? The Nine of Swords. Hmm. That somebody will think and overthink and rethink and just really just kind of annihilate, um, <laughs> uh, you know, the truth in this situation. Because Nine of Swords is all about, you know, an overactive imagination, you know. So thinking things that are not necessarily true or over-exaggerating things here. And I think that's what's going on. Somebody's like... You know, just overthinking, 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 thinking the other person has someone else, 
thinking the other person um, is out doing whatever, you know. Hmm. So for the 7th through the 13th, there's just a lot of thinking going on. Um, there are no wands here. There's no action being taken. I feel um, no conversing, nothing, okay? So that's what's going on for you guys. But I definitely see there's a chance for reconciliation if somebody actually takes the action here. Um, and the Magician has the, the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles. So, you know... Need I say more? All right, guys, so that's what I have for you, and I will be speaking with you guys soon.